go, guys. Ooh, it is cold. All right, what's up, guys? This is gonna be a quick video about the High Tower LT. Guys, look at this. There's icicles on the ground. There's a snowstorm coming. So I want to get this review going. There she is. I call her Cafe Mocha. All right, good afternoon, guys. James with JC Trails here. We're gonna do a quick little video about this 2019 Santa Cruz Hightower LT. I've ridden the Hightower LT in many different locations already. In Phoenix at South Mountain, hit some gnarly terrain there. I've ridden the, and that was a 2018 model. We're in, oh God, it's icy. We're in the 2019 LT at Highland Bike Park earlier this year at the Santa Cruz Demo Day. And now I have my hands on the 2019 High Tire LT. It's the S build. Oh gosh, GX drivetrain, Fox 36 performance fork, Fox float DPS rear shock. And so it's like the middle of the line build. Pretty good. Race face wheels, and it's the C frame. So a little bit heavier, half pound heavier than the CC. I got a little drop here. Whee! God, this thing just chews up the chunk. Let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, so the point of today's video, I've gotten this question a lot when I put out my last high tower LT video, which I'll leave in the link in the description below. Is it too much bike to pedal on your local trails? And that's what I'm here to find out. So I'm back at Pine Hills in Plymouth. Ooh. Balance to see if it's too much bike, yeah, to pedal around here. So far, it's just chewing up these rocks, so. This thing feels pretty poppy still. So as you know, high tire LT is 150 millimeter travel rear end and 150 fork. DPP linkage, which is pretty damn good pedaling wise. Got the shock wide open in the fork and it's not sucking too much energy out of me. So as you know, this LT was definitely on my list for new bikes. But I went with the stump jumper short travel. Well, actually I went with a regular stump jumper, S-Works. Sold that to get the ST and then I bought the stuff to make it the long travel again. So that's the bike I went with. And did I make the right decision? Oh, it's slippery with all these leaves down. Let's put some power down, see how that feels. Smashing some pedals. Oh, dang. This bike feels really good. So obviously LT feels great on the rough stuff. When I rode it at Highland Bike Park, it felt better than my Stump Jumper LT with the Fox 36 and all that stuff. Um, if you want to see a comparison video, let me know in the comments. But it definitely feels more composed on the fast, chunky downhills. You could just hold on, close your eyes, and let the brakes go. Bike does a lot of the work. I do notice that when you go through rock gardens, there's a little pedal feedback, meaning that what VPP does when you're putting the power down or you're pedaling, it kind of tightens up the rear end, makes it taut. So if you're pedaling through rough, chunky stuff, when the suspension's uh, moving, doing some work, it kicks back on your pedals. All right, here's a steep climb. And the stump jumper doesn't do that. The horse link, is really good through rough stuff. Ugh. There we go. Not bad. That was a steep little climb and front end wandered a little bit, not too bad. Whew. Well, 
I'm kind of sad right now. I just looked down and one of my clipless pedals actually broke. I've had these pedals since 99. Some old SPD Shimano pedals. and The right one looks like a little screw snapped in it. And my foot keeps popping out, but we'll press on. So if I die on this drop right here, that's why. Ooh. It came out a little bit. Ah, this thing just absorbs everything. Having a long travel bike and normal trails like mine here, it really does dumb down everything. And that's why I like the short travel bikes. I've been an advocate for like these uh, epic Evos and my stump jumpers. Here's a climb. My stump jumper short travel. Ugh, no. Because it doesn't dumb down the trail. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the short travel bikes don't dumb down the trail too much. And it feels just more poppy and accurate. But man, when you have bigger features, they require a little more suspension. This thing is great. Look at this drop. It's a flat. Oh, my foot just totally came out. This is not safe. So I rode the bike yesterday too without the camera. So with the pedals working. So I have a good feel of the bike. I feel like in the punchier climbs, for anyone wonders a little bit more than my stump jumper uh, LT, but if I just had one bike and I was doing a lot of bike parking, I'd rather go with this LT than my stump jumper, to be honest. But it doesn't feel as good as my ST though. In my local trails, at least. There's a little steep thing. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. So things new on the 2019 that differ from the 2018 model, which I'm uh, actually enjoying, is the brakes. It's got the SRAM code brakes. These are like the, I think the lowest level ones, but got great feel. Lots of power, but the actual lever feel is more like Shimano. It's very firm. So it's medium, it's good in the tight turns. Doesn't feel like a big bike to me at all. And I got on the large, uh, it feels big, really big. But it feels good on the downhill having the large. And that roomy cockpit. I like a roomy top tube too. This one, uh, the reach is kind of small. I think the regular high tie is bigger. Oh, that little part. I'm glad I'm trying the size medium though. So for you guys who can't get your hands on a demo of the LT and you're looking at it, um, if you're around 5'9", five, 5'10", five, like me, I probably, and you're gonna go to like bike parks or ride a lot of rough terrain, you know, downhill stuff, I'd probably go with the size large. It does feel a little big when you're pedaling trails like this. This medium feels great um, doing this kind of stuff, but just put like a 40 millimeter stem on it and uh, scoot the seat up a little bit to give you that false steep seat tube angle you know, replicate that feeling and uh, you'll be okay all right guys as i uh finish up my ride here just riding this normal flat single track um to answer the question is the high tire lt too much bike for your local trails if they're like mine no it actually pedals really well and honestly i really need to get my hands on the, the normal high tower and compare it to this one, but if I can remember correctly, I mean, I've ridden it last year, but it was a while ago. It pedals about the same. Feels good. I definitely go with probably the size large if they're gonna race this bike or do a lot of bike parking. Guys, thanks for watching. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more content like this, more bike reviews and all stuff mountain biking and give this video a thumbs up. But I'll see you next time. Peace. first SPD Shimano pedals that finally bit the dust. It's cracked right here. Damn you Santa Cruz Hightower LT and Cafe Mocha Color.